I come dying. Uh, doctor gave you medicine to flush the heroin out of your system. The chills are a sign it's working. Can you stay and talk to me? What do you want to talk about? How sunny. Well, how does his life seem? What do you want to know? What happened between him and Carly? They got divorced, which is the best thing for both of them. And Carly moved on. What about Sonny? I saw Michael. Why do you want to hear all this? I mean, you've moved on. You've made a life without Sonny. What's the matter who he's been? Because it'll help me to know. That he's happy. He want me to move on. And I need to know if someone else has ever made him happy. Well, he's had a lot of girlfriends. I don't care about that. Has he ever been in love? He says that he was. What does that mean? I, I don't know. It's none of my business, but... Can't say it, can you? Say what? That someone else has made him happy. Why don't you get some rest? Does he ever talk about me? To you? I don't know. He knew. He used to, yeah. What he used to say? He said that he would die remembering your face. <laughs> Brenda's made a different life. I mean, what are the odds that Robin and I are going to be in Africa at the same exact time? I guess it was inevitable. What? Well, I knew I was gonna have to face Sonny again someday, and I just wasn't ready to do it. And there's Robin handing me his email. And then Murphy proposes to me right after that, and all I could think about was the night that Sonny asked me to marry him, and how I felt, how alive I felt and happy, and excited and and then there it was again when I just saw Sonny I felt the same way he didn't tell you he saw me really he didn't tell me and he saved me and pulled a gun on those two guys his timing was Amazing. It was like a dream. Well, I ever think about the fact that Sonny actually sent you on my wedding day to tell me that he wasn't going to marry me? <laughs> yeah, I do. That was tough. But I know Sonny did it to protect you. Oh, right. Well, you could have mentioned it that day. You could have mentioned that to me. Look, I, I, I know the reasons why Sonny and I don't work. I mean, I understand, you know, the dynamic between us, but he, he could have tried harder. I mean, there was that one moment in our relationship that he could have pushed through, and he just didn't. Mm. Well, you know you were there. What do you think? I think you and Sonny don't seem to make each other happy for very long. <laughs> I guess that sums it up, doesn't it? Sorry. I know you hate it when I make you speak, you know, talk about stuff. That's why it was such a nightmare to be married to me, right? Because <laughs> I talk and I cry and I love and I laugh because I'm alive. But are you, are you happy? Are you? Well, I'm happy that I've been able to accomplish the things that I've been able to accomplish. I'm happy that I've been able to help kids who can't help themselves. I'm okay, happy I know about that, that. I know that your work is important to you. It's not safe here. And until the situation's taken care of, you're coming back to Port Charles with me. 
safe here? Yeah, I I am safe here. I have you to protect me. No, I feel like I can keep you safer in Port Charles. I don't want to go to Port Charles. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to be in Port Charles. I understand you can keep me safer there from Balkan and all these other bad guys, but I don't want to go there. You don't want to see Sunny. Then stay away I from Sunny. Why, why, why are you talking about Sunny? I, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm just saying I don't want to be in Port Charles, okay? Sometimes you do things that are not good for you and you don't plan on doing them. You know, remember when I was addicted to painkillers? Have you ever been addicted to anything? Do, oh, you wake up every day and you say, this is the day that I'm going to stop. And then the hours pass, the thoughts start creeping into your head, and before you know it, you are doing okay, something so do you, that is not good for do you. Do you want me to tell Sonny to stay no, away I'm from you? No, I'm saying I just don't want to go okay, to Port Charles. It doesn't Charles. matter what Why you, are you changing this into something that I'm not seeing? It doesn't matter what you want right now because the attacks are escalating, so you got to ask yourself, is it worth risking your life just to avoid Sonny? So are you pretending like there's nowhere in the whole entire wide world that I'm we can not hide pretending. other than I'm just Port saying Charles? That I have the advantage. Oh, you in know what? Port we can Charles. go to Africa. I have that trip planned for a Please, second. You can Africa. just go to Africa with me. As Africa's my not going to work. Okay. I don't Why have, not? I don't have endless time to spend on your personal safety. I actually have a life to get back to. Balkan wants something from you. Why don't you just tell me? I don't know what he wants. Yeah, you do know what he wants. And I, I can't track this guy down. That's why I can't protect you. And that's why I have to take you back to Port Charles. Let me explain to you for the last time how I am not going to Port Charles. It's no good for me there. I don't trust myself there. It's my past. Mm -hmm. You don't think that I should be going to Port Charles either. That's the truth, isn't it? You don't think I should be there. I mean, remember, this is why you married me. You didn't want me to break up Sonny and Carly's marriage. Yeah, Carly's married to Jax now. Yeah, well, I, let's, let's not talk about that, okay? What, do you, do you think I'm good for Sonny? Do you think it's good for me no, to go I, to Port Charles? it doesn't matter what I think. People? You can choose to deal with Sonny or not, but you're coming back to Port Charles All right, well, the truth me. is that my heart is not safe there. Your heart? That's... It's not my problem. I can't do it again. I can't do this again. Don't you understand? I don't want to go there. I can't put myself in that position again. I can't be around people who I really love. I don't want to be around people who have the power to hurt me. Can you just please find another way for me? I'll make you a deal. As soon as the ball can come support Charles, I will kill him. And then you no, can no, leave. No, 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 you're not listening no, to me. No, no, I'm not. I'm just not saying what Charles, you which is... want to hear. I'm not agreeing to let you go to Africa. I'm not agreeing to let you stay here. What do you mean agreeing? What are you, the boss okay, of me if now? If I hadn't stopped those guys, you'd be dead or with the Balkan right now, right? Okay, yes. Okay, it's true. So then that why if you had to stop those stop guys, I'd be dead talking. or with the Balkan. I understand why you don't want to go back to Port Charles. I mean, I, I really do. But I'm sorry, I'm taking you anyway. All right, so if we go, then I should just call him. I should just call Sonny and, you know, talk to him about this. No, no, I, I shouldn't call him and talk to him about this, right? What you do with Sonny is totally up to you, okay? I have to take you back to Port Charles, and once you're there, what you do is all on you. I just don't want to fall into any old behavior. I just don't want to do anything to hurt anybody. I know. Jeez, I'm coming. Oh, you. Hi, hi, have you heard from Jason? Because he hasn't returned one of my calls, and neither have you for that matter. Well, I've been busy at work, and yes, I did hear from Jason. What did he say? Well, first he said that he did everything he could for Brendan, and he was on his way home. Yes! Okay, great. When's he getting back? Oh, that's where the second message comes in. <laughs> he said that he wasn't sure when he was coming back because Brendan needed more help. How can he let himself be manipulated Come like on, this? Carly, he's not being manipulated by Brenda. She's in genuine danger. Oh, Sam, wake up. You know what? You need to wake up and fight for your man. You need to get on a plane to Rome and put a stop to this before Brenda helps herself to the best thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> Don't you mean the best thing that's ever happened to you? I'm not threatened by Brenda. I trust Jason. It's something you might want to try and do yourself. I know Jason says that Brenda drives him crazy 
But there's a weird bond there, and you're gonna stand there and tell me you don't care that Jason dropped everything to fly off to Rome just because she needed him? No, Brenda needed protecting. That's what Jason does best. I am not insecure about that. So you're gonna stay here and do nothing. You just don't care. Oh, Carly, you are the one that has her panties in the twist over this, and I can see why, actually. Because you and Brenda actually fill a very similar place in Jason's life. You're both very high-maintenance women that he feels obligated to help. You know what? Don't even think about comparing Jason's misguided whatever that he has with Brenda to what Jason and I have. You're absolutely right, Carly. There are many differences. I mean, you, of course, are much closer to Jason than Brenda is. So if you're feeling so threatened and insecure, by all means, hop on a plane to Rome and go stake your claim. Come in. What's up? I got Trinity's mom to drop me off. I told her you'd give me a ride back home, if that's okay. Of course, yeah, of course. Actually, I just ordered some Chinese food if you want to stay and eat with me. Oh, thanks, but I already ate. You already ate. Sit down. What's on your mind? I went over to Uncle Sonny's house, mm -hmm. and now I really wish I hadn't. Why? Well, Christina got her senior pictures, and she wanted Uncle Sonny to have one, but she didn't want to look like she cares too much. Okay. So she had me bring them, and when I got to Uncle Sonny's house, guess who was there? Who? Claire Walsh. Who? All right, well, I, I can't say that I'm not surprised. Well, it's obvious he's getting seriously involved with her, and Christina's going to hate it. Oh, yes, uh, she probably will, huh? Actually, I hate it, too. I mean... Uncle Sonny gave me this whole speech about how he's an adult and he can date who he wants, and I really tried to listen, but I'm sorry. I just can't believe he's dating the federal prosecutor who put Michael in prison. Uncle Sonny says Claire didn't mean for Michael to go to prison. Well, I believe that's true. But it still feels wrong that he's dating her. Well, Sonny probably justifies it because of all the kind of really cool stuff that she's done. I mean, if you think about it, she is the one who got Jason into prison so he could protect Michael and got him right back out again. Now you're justifying. Come on, drink this. Cut me some slack. I'm trying to be the wise older sister here. Well, it's just that Christina's going to use this as another reason to be mad at her dad. <sighs> okay, listen, I'm not really a big fan of Claire Walsh, but... Chrissy's gonna have to realize that Sonny is the only father she's got. So you're saying she should just smile and make nice whatever he does? Uh, no. Okay, listen, Chris, Chrissy's gonna have to understand something, and so are you, actually. As you get older, you're gonna have to learn to accept that nobody's perfect, not even those you love and admire. <laughs> 